I tried three times to get into university and failed. I applied, however, ten times and failed. They only wanted to see me for the last time when I went to teacher's college, which was considered the third or fourth fourth class of my city. I applied for jobs 30 times and got rejected. It was so difficult at that time. I was so frustrated because I taught at the university and my pay was terrible. In 1994, people said, this guy thinks differently. He's a crazy thinker. He cannot get it. We talked to over 30 or 40 venture capitalists. And everybody said, forget it. A lot of people said Alibaba is a terrible model. But I said, I believe in it. I think this thing could be big if we keep on working. I never thought it would be as big as today, but I believe that something was waiting for me and I had to work hard to prove myself. That was a tough experience. We gathered 50,000 US dollars from 18 friends. We started and for the first three years, we didn't make even one dollar of revenue from our business. It wasn't easy. When you don't make any money and yet make extraordinary claims, people doubt you. But I kept going ahead, moving forward. I received lots of emails of thanks from customers. They said, this is such a great thing. We cannot repay you, but this has helped us. They told me, if you keep helping us, one day you will be successful. I believe that little by little we built up our business little by little we built up our ecosystem our infrastructure now after 16 years we have Alibaba group we have Taobao group and we have Tmall group people said you are so smart how did you make a company like that Bill Gates Warren Buffett Jack Welch Larry Page Mark Zuckerberg, the difference between those people and others is that they are always optimistic about the future. They never complain. They always try to solve the problems of others. When you're optimistic, there's always an opportunity. People ask me, where is the opportunity? I don't have a job. I don't have this or that. The best asset you have is that you are young. Don't complain. Let our people complain. Opportunity always lies where people complain. Think about how you can make things different. And then when you think about it, study and do it. I saw a lot of young people with fantastic ideas every evening, but in the morning, they go to the office and repeat the same routine. If you really want to be an entrepreneur, you have to do things before other people do. You have to wake up earlier than others and you have to be braver than others. When I was young, I went to Hangzhou Westlake. There was a hotel where many foreign visitors stayed. I went there every morning at five o'clock to practice my English. Foreign visitors would come and I practiced my English with them. I didn't know why at the time, but I found everything they told me was so different from what my parents, teachers and newspapers said. Since then, I realized I had to use my own brain. Use your own brain to think. To anybody, to any person, tomorrow's new. Make the move, make the action. Whether investors believe in it or not, whether your friends or parents believe in it or not, that's not important. You believe in it. Your team believes in it. Work day and night on this. Make enough mistakes. You'll fall. But you'll stand up. If you really want to work on yourself, think about others. Because only when other people are successful and happy will you be successful and happy. Don't worry about the money. Money follows people. People should follow their dreams. If you have a dream, just go ahead. 
Failure has been my greatest teacher. Each time I faced rejection, it was an opportunity to learn and grow. From being turned down for jobs to seeing Alibaba struggle in its early days, I realized that failure wasn't the end, it was a chance to begin again. With more wisdom. These experiences shaped me as a leader and businessman, teaching me patience and perseverance. One of the most important lessons I learned was to trust and empower the people around me. Alibaba didn't succeed because of me alone. It was my team's belief in our vision and their hard work that led to our breakthroughs. Leadership isn't about doing everything yourself. It's about empowering others to do their best. Competition and rejection will always be there. But instead of fearing it, I embraced it. Each failure brought us closer to success. It's how we handle these setbacks learning from them that led to pivotal moments in Alibaba's journey. Remember, failure is not the opposite of success, it's part of the journey. To anyone struggling with failure right now, my advice is simple, don't give up. Failure is a part of life, but it doesn't define you. It's how you respond to it that matters. I failed many times in my life, failed to get into universities, failed to get jobs, but each of these setbacks was a lesson. I learned that failure is the best teacher. Stay focused on your dreams and be patient. Success doesn't come overnight. If you work hard, keep learning and stay true to your vision, the results will come. No matter how many times you fall, stand up one more time. Perseverance is key. My story is not unique. Many successful people have faced failure. But what makes the difference is the ability to keep going. Thank you for listening to my journey. I hope it inspires you to reflect on your own challenges and never give up. Like, share and subscribe if this story inspired you. Together, we can learn and grow through failure.